Hey, Mike with Marketing Systems by Design here, the channel where we help cleaning business owners generate more traffic for their websites, get more leads, and get more cleaning clients through digital marketing. And would you like a better way to get more clients from your cleaning business website? Well, today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a cleaning company website that actually gets cleaning clients. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to have on your website is some means of generating leads. You know, one mistake that we find a lot of cleaning business owners make is that they think that traffic is just going to magically solve all their problems. And one thing that you need to do with your cleaning company website is actually set up some kind of form that's going to generate leads for your business. Now, this could be some type of giveaway um, that's like going to help solve problems for your ideal customer. So it might be something like cleaning hacks or a cleaning guide or tips to save money on cleaning, various things like that you could use. Um, that's a great option to have on your site, but bare minimum, you definitely want to have some type of call to action that's going to be uh, asking for a quote or getting a free quote for your potential customers. So that's really one of the main reasons why they're on your site. But again, if you have that other means of generating leads, that's very powerful as well. Because one thing, again, a lot of people make the mistake of is they think that every single person that visits their website is there to buy. And that's really not the case. A lot of people will be in actual research mode and deciding between your cleaning company and another cleaning company. And so you wanna have a method to actually capture their information beyond just that free quote pop-up. But bare minimum, make sure that you have some type of option to gather uh, customer's information or giving them access to a free quote or an instant quote uh, on your website. So make sure that you have that on the home page. Now, the next thing that you want to have is actually some type of tagline. And basically, that's going to be some type of uh, method or statement that basically tells who you are, you know, who you serve and how you actually help people. So an example of this might be something like we help busy homeowners get their free time back instead of cleaning. So that could be an option. So basically think of what are your ideal customers pain points? What are your ideal customers problems? And how do you solve that? So is it time saving? Is it peace of mind? Various things like that. So create some type of tagline like that and have that very apparent uh, once somebody visits your homepage because you want them to visit your website, visit your cleaning company website and really just feel like they're in the right place, that you're there to help and you're there to actually solve their problems. The next thing that you want to talk about on your cleaning company website is actually talking about benefits of your cleaning service, not just features. Certainly have features, things like how long you've been in business, what services you do, uh, different things like that. Those are important to have on your website, but you really wanna be making sure that your website, your homepage, really the first place they visit, uh, talks a lot about the different benefits that a cleaning customer or a new client will get uh, by actually, going with your service. So for example, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but things like time saving, you know, peace of mind, uh, freedom to do different things besides cleaning, you know, various things like that are the benefits that somebody's gonna get um, by going with your cleaning service. So make sure you talk about things like that, things like stress relief, because they're not going to have to clean themselves, uh, being able to do the things that they wanna do, various things like that. Um, on top of that, the next thing that you wanna make sure that you cover on your cleaning company website is basically answering common questions that visitors might have uh, about hiring a cleaning service. So it could be things like the service that you actually provide, you know, what things do you do in a home? Um, does your company have some type of service guarantee? You wanna bring that up. Is your company insured and bonded? Different things like that. You also want to mention things like the training that your cleaning technicians go through uh, before they actually are on the job. Those are very important things to have on your website. Um, another key thing that you want to have and make sure that you have on your website is going to be your cleaning technicians, photos, videos of your happy employees, photos of your employees doing the job, cleaning the homes. Because one thing to understand is that 
uh, people don't necessarily feel comfortable letting strangers in their home. And so if they can see a smiling face, they get a, a picture of what the cleaning technicians actually look like, who they are, who they're inviting into their home, seeing that they're smiling, happy, friendly people, uh, people that are excited to work there, various things like that. When they can see that on your website, uh, it goes a long way to build trust and you know people are gonna be much more likely to hire you as a cleaning service versus someone else. So when you're setting up your cleaning company website, make sure that you have a lot of happy, smiling photos on your website. Um, another thing that you need to definitely have is talk about things like the service area, where you actually service, uh, what cities you're in. Uh, ideally, you're gonna wanna have that uh, Google map integrated into your site because that's gonna help with local SEO. Another thing that you definitely wanna have is make sure that you have location pages of the different areas that you serve. Just another thing that's gonna help boost that local SEO for your business. So make sure that you have that on your cleaning company website as well. Another key factor that you wanna make sure that you have is going to actually be testimonials from happy customers. So you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can have reviews on your website uh, that could link to you know, your Google My Business page. It could just be reviews that people are strictly leaving on your website in general. Uh, these could be video testimonies. That's another thing we really recommend having because if you can have a video of your happy, satisfied customer, that goes a long way to helping you close new prospects, new people that are visiting your website because if they see other people just like them that are happy and satisfied with your service, they're gonna be a lot more likely uh, to sign up for your service as well. Another aspect that you definitely wanna have on your cleaning business website is a blog. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily understand the power of blogging and using that to actually build a cleaning business, but it's a great strategy that can work long-term to help grow your business because every time you put out a valuable piece of content that answers common questions for your potential customers, you know, helps solve their problems, it builds more trust, it establishes your company as an expert in the field, and just more likely they are going to hire you over another cleaning company. So make sure that you have a blog. And then again, you're creating posts, you're creating content that solves your target market's problems, answers their questions, helps them uh, achieve better results in their life in relation to cleaning, all these different things. So don't just have a blog that has tiny little posts that just talk about how great your company is. That doesn't really do a whole lot to bring on new customers. So have a blog, but use it in the right way. We actually did a video uh, a while back on using blogging to grow a cleaning company. So I have a link for that in the description below and uh, on this video as well, you'll be able to access that as well. Uh, another aspect that you wanna make sure that you have on your cleaning business website is actually a frequently asked questions page. And so with this, you can cover a lot of different common questions that you might get asked, or again, people that are visiting your website for the first time, if they're checking your company out, maybe they've never hired a cleaning service before, uh, you could answer common questions that they might have. So you can talk about different things like background checks that you perform those uh, on your employees before you hire them. Again, touching on like the training that you have your employees go through, talking about the insurance that you have for your employees, so somebody that hires you isn't liable if anything would happen. Um, other things that you maybe wanna cover and include could be things like setting proper expectations for your cleaning service. So, you know, how are your cleaning technicians going to arrive? Are they gonna have the equipment that they need with them? What's the time frame that they're going to show up? Do they have a window that they show up? Or if you set a time, that's when they're gonna show up. Uh, different things like that. Also, you could include things like pricing options. You know, what types of services or what types of things are actually included in the cleaning, uh, the general cleaning they sign up for, and then what are extras, what are add-ons that they're going to need to do. Um, you could also talk about scheduling, how that works, payments, various things like that. So those are the type of things that you wanna cover in your frequently asked question pages. That'll save you a lot of time, 
Uh, you can just direct people to that if they have a lot of questions, and then they can just read through those on their own uh, before they actually reach out to someone. So again, this is gonna save you time on the back end with your customer service people, because they're not gonna have to be answering the same common questions over and over and over again. So make sure that you have that as well. Another key point that you wanna make sure that you include on your cleaning business website is really like your difference. So why should people hire you? What sets you apart from somebody else? Else. Again, this can tie back into that tagline that we talked about before of how you help people, how you serve people, and who you are as a cleaning company. Uh, that can tie into your difference as well, and that's a great thing that you want to cover on your website. Now, some kind of more advanced strategies that we think that you should be doing and have on your cleaning business website, but aren't necessarily uh, necessities. Uh, one thing that you can add on is a live chat option. So uh, that can be very powerful if people have questions. They usually like to talk to a real live person instead of just an automated robot or maybe just reading through a frequently asked question page. So if you're there, you have a live chat option, that can be very powerful. Another thing that you should definitely have on your website if you're looking to scale further down the road is a Facebook pixel. So if you're looking to advertise your cleaning business, it's something that you should definitely have because it can enhance targeting. You can remarket the people that visit your website, get very honed in targeted audiences when you advertise on Facebook. So that's something you should definitely have as well. Now, if Facebook advertising sounds crazy, you don't know where to start. It's actually one of the things that we do at our agency here. So uh, we'll have some information below where you can fill out a quick survey uh, to learn more about your business and how we can maybe help you out with Facebook advertising. And we'll also have a link to a video of the top five uh, common mistakes cleaning business owners make with Facebook advertising. So you'll see a link for that around here also below in the description where you can check that out as well. Another thing that you also want to have on your website that's a little bit more advanced but something you certainly should have is Google Analytics. And what this can do is actually help show you where people are visiting on your site, what's getting the most traffic, why they're leaving, uh, give you opportunities uh, to add onto your site, to get more traffic, various things like that. Something very important to have. Again, if that seems way too techy or something that you maybe don't wanna do, uh, that's another thing that we do uh, at our agency here that we can help you out with growing and scaling your cleaning business. But again, if you implement these tips uh, for how to set up a cleaning company website that actually gets cleaning clients. If you follow these steps, you're gonna start getting cleaning clients uh, and more leads and more traffic for your cleaning business and your cleaning business website. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. Uh, let us know if there are other questions you have about building a cleaning business online. Definitely let us know in the comments below as well. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out to help you build a cleaning business better through digital marketing. And if you're also just struggling to generate leads in general for your cleaning business and your company, uh, we've actually put together a free video training that walks you through the top 10 lead sources for cleaning business owners. So there'll be a link in the description below that. So if you wanna generate more quality leads for your cleaning business, definitely check out that video series on the 10 best lead sources for cleaning business owners. Again, just click the link in the description below to access that. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.